one of the most unique custom rooms in custom room community called Descendant OS. We have this available for the Redmi Note 8 users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T, you can install this build right now on your device. I'm going to talk about some things about this one which is available for the Redmi Note 8. Let's find out which are the things you have by default available, how's the performance, safety status and a lot more things which camera you have pre-installed and etc let's find out first of all it's based on android 12.1 we have this drive from android 12 it's based on android 12.1 so all the android 12.1 features so kind of animations and a lot more things which you have by default in android 12.1 everything is already available in this one so no compromises in here and of course we have the april security patch as expectedly quick silver kernel is what you get pre-installed there might be something else but it's not all the animations which you were looking for already there for example this is how this is what we have you can see and yes all the animations are there the quick settings panel seems to be different here by the way i'm not going to talk about which are the new and unique things which you have in descendant ways for that you can watch out my other video where i have already shared with you my experience about descendant ways the new things which you get here and the latest update in this april security patch update we have the what's new app what's new option available for, where you can check out the changes bug fixes improvements and new features you can see face unlock has been added weather app has been added and some other options are already included and the detailed video about descendant with new changes and new features as i just mentioned that i have a dedicated video available on that thing i recommend you to use i would i'll recommend you to watch that to get notified and check out the things which you have by default and this one's quite interesting which you have by default available in this one called this weather app where you can check out the waiting for location um yes by the way i tried that yesterday it was working perfectly fine i need to refresh it and yes after refreshing you'll be able to see this is how it is looking like when the humidity and feeling all the animated things are present looks quite good by the way but yes it's just my opinion if you like it you can use it if you don't like it you can simply ignore it safeness it does seems to be quite um, quite maybe unexpected maybe i was not expecting this as safety status is not passing by default i'm not sure why because i haven't rooted my device and by default safety status should not give you any kind of issues but cts is not passing there might be some issues from the server side too i'm not sure but right now this is what we have and if you move on to the google photos option backing up photos and videos from this pixel is free of charge and unlimited and also in full resolution so yes this might be a very good thing a positive thing about this version this room which you want to use on your device i think so this is about a plus point it's just my opinion as i just mentioned so if you move on to the cpu throttling cpu throttled 95 percent of its maximum performance of course we are using redmi note 8 and you can't expect a lot of things by the way I, this uh, test is actually by default one i haven't changed any threads here you can change threads and check out the increased performance and this is the default thing which you have 137 is the maximum performance cpu throttled 95 percent gaming unfortunately is not good i tried that the gaming was not working perfectly fine at all if we move on to the camera section the camera section seems to be quite good and improved i think so we have the pro mode panorama mode etc and the picture quality looks decent and if we have the miui camera pre-installed which is actually a very good thing a lot of users were looking for some other cameras camera go and a lot more but miui camera most of the times we have in this and portrait mode etc didn't got any kind of bugs that's etc so yes this might also be a positive things about this one it's just my opinion as i just mentioned other than else if you move on to the settings you way and if you find out some new things and nothing new there's no dedicated specific menu for all those customizations descendant always always focus on some new and interesting things unique things which you have xiaomi parts me sound enhancer display color calibration everything is already included clear speaker is also there if you want to use it you can no issues of, uh, while using this one i think so and uh, xiaomi parts was also expected if you were looking for something other things if i scroll down and if you check out the security we have the face lock we have the fingerprint lock we have uh, the pin lock of course we have no app lock unfortunately available if you need app lock we might need to wait for some other updates but right now it's not there this is about the official version review about descendant device for the redmi note 8 users by the way if you are already using this one on other devices you already know which are the new things you have like quick settings panel which you can customize and we have a new customized volume panel and a lot more things and as i just mentioned make sure to watch out the full video 
on the center to is i think that video is already available in the comment section make sure to check out that wallpapers and styles change wallpaper etc wallpaper extractor colors extractor that's also already included this might also be a positive things about this one themed icons app grid etc is already this it you, you don't get the modded pixel launcher be installed by the way if you want to you if you want to use the modded pixel launcher you can the link for that one the video for that one is already available on my channel so make sure to check out that if you move on to the battery stats you can customize the battery usage if you want to check out for the last full charge or if you want to customize to check out the view usage from past 24 hours etc all these things you can customize and that's also might be a very good choice for you battery indicators of course you can customize that other than else things are basically same there are no major differences and as i just mentioned we also have the game settings options available where you can enable the gaming dashboard etc things were basically same and these were things i just want to let you know about uh, this latest version latest update for redmi note 8 users the descendant noise is what you have and uh, this was all from today's short and simple video as always if you like this video don't forget to like and share this and as always i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe the channel also hit the notification bell icon to get notified for all of the new upcoming videos and goodbye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through